So when I was in high school, I was desperately in love with Jeff Goldblum. It was the kind of feverish obsession that had a girl watching all of his movies all summer long. I was watching Jurassic Park, Independence Day, my personal favorite, Earth Girls Are Easy. I used to actually feel a pit of despair whenever I thought about Jeff Goldblum during this time because I knew I couldn't go to Hollywood and find him and marry him. But it actually turns out his most recent wife was in her 30s when he met her and he was already like in his 60s, which means I had a chance. Unfortunately, the love affair between me and Jeff would end soon after I watched The Fly. If you've never seen The Fly, it's basically about a scientist who creates this transporter machine, but a fly gets in there. I haven't analyzed, but they were definitely not human. And then the scientist slowly becomes a fly. And there is something about watching Jeff Goldblum slowly turn into a human insect that kind of just shut that whole summer down. Ever since then, Jeff and I have just been buds. Now I watch his career as a fan, kind of just cheering him on whenever I see him in something. I feel like he's my own personal niche actor and not like one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. So I was at the gym the other day, pumping iron, humble brag, and I noticed that Jeff Goldblum was on the TV doing an apartments.com commercial, which is pretty normal because he's been doing those commercials for a long time now. But then I kind of stopped and I thought about how long it actually had been since Jeff Goldblum has been doing these commercials. Like it's very possible that they have dirt on Jeff Goldblum for him to be doing these commercials for so long. Either the company is holding him hostage or the check is really good. The more I thought about it, the more intrigued I became. This isn't quite like Capital One commercials where a celebrity is themselves and they ask what's in your wallet. In these commercials, Jeff has a completely different persona and this world of apartments.com isn't quite like our own. It seems to have its own kind of reality where there's aliens and all kinds of hijinks go on. I wanted to know more. I wanted to uncover this saga that's been like unfolding in front of our eyes this entire time. So in this video, I will be discovering the Jeff Goldblum apartments.com universe. I decided at first what better place to uncover these commercials than the apartments.com YouTube channel itself. But as I was working on this video, I started to realize that a lot of videos were starting to disappear from the YouTube channel. It kind of seems like someone was unlisting and deleting videos, adding videos here and there. I'm not really sure why they were doing this. It almost felt like they were trying to sabotage me. This ended up being a good thing though, because in my search for the lost commercials, I decided to see if they had a dedicated page just for their commercials. And I found a gold mine. Not only was the page dedicated to their ads, but they also have an entire video hyping this year's commercial lineup. Friends, it's Brad Bellflower here introducing our latest and dare I say greatest 2024 advertising campaign. Is it too much, sir? It's too much. Could be a little more. I love it. I really love that he's announcing these commercials like it's the new iPhone. This year's campaign is a lavish array indeed with more content than ever and some big surprises. You could even say super surprises starring uh, the one and only me. Having a video like this on your website implies that people are actively paying attention and they're waiting for the new release of an apartments.com video as if it's like a new Marvel movie. I mean, I guess I am doing that. So I guess they got me there. We're gonna reach renters like never before across the vast mediaverse with streaming video and audio on their favorite social platforms and across the web like Netflix and Hulu and Disney Plus, Roku, YouTube, Amazon, Spotify, Pandora. Jeff lets you know that whatever streaming platform you have, whether it be Hulu or Roku, rest assured apartments.com commercials will find you. You'll notice also Jeff is not really Jeff in these commercials. Most of the time, if a commercial has a big time celebrity, that celebrity is themselves. Like Tina Fey is Tina Fey. Taylor Swift is Taylor Swift. It's not often, I don't think, that they get these intricate new personas that also span over multiple commercials. And if they do, they're not often big time actors that we know and recognize for other roles. Typically, they're only this mascot. Think of Flo from Progressive, for example. Usually commercials want to use big celebrities to like boost their star power and make you remember the ad. Jeff is also such a big celebrity that it's very possible that it doesn't matter if they 
they change his name or anything, you're still gonna know it's him. Apartments.com decided to create a character who looks like Jeff Goldblum, acts like Jeff Goldblum, sounds like Jeff Goldblum, tastes like he's pretty much Jeff, but with a new name. Maybe this is to avoid confusion that Jeff is actually not part of the business aspect of Apartments.com, and I'll explain that in a little bit. I think they also just kind of wanted to have fun and create this whimsical little guy. Like I like to also imagine it was partially Jeff's idea. I know it wasn't, but I like to think that maybe he was like, I will do these commercials, but I won't be Jeff. I will be Brad. Brad Bellflower is labeled as multiple things throughout different commercials like Silicon Valley Maverick. I also swear that one of these commercials named him to be like the CEO of apartments.com. And that's kind of where my theory of creating a persona comes in. Maybe they thought people would be too stupid to think that like this whole thing was fabricated and that he really was the CEO of apartments.com but calling him like the inventor of apartments.com and the CEO would cause a little too much confusion if he was still Jeff Goldblum so maybe that's why they wanted to create a character that's kind of like a partial theory of mine I don't fully believe it but you know I don't know mostly he's referred to as the inventor of the apart internet apart apartment part internet the apartment internet so he's like the inventor of apartment com, but he's also like this all-knowing being when it comes to renting an apartment. There's many things that are interesting about him. Like look at the most recent Super Bowl commercial where aliens are invading Earth and they somehow for some reason call on Brad Bellflower to solve the problem. Who is this guy? It's the top priority when you move to a new city or galaxy. Apartments.com. We could help you get into a lovely one bedroom, two bedroom. I don't want to presume anything. In the Super Bowl commercial, Jeff Brad, he's not taken back by the aliens at all. Instead, he sees them for what they are, renters. Brad's grind never stops. This is definitely in reference to like Independence Day since he's kind of brought in as like a consultant. I feel like in this universe, Brad and Jeff still kind of mix together a little bit because they will reference stuff that he's been in before, but he's still Brad. So it does seem like they're pulling little references to Jeff's own filmography, but then just adapting them to Brad Bellflower. Brad seems to operate out of a space station, maybe some kind of really high tech office, but sometimes Brad is just at a wedding or a dinner party or playing bongos. So luckily, despite the fact that Apartments.com was deleting a bunch of commercials, I actually kind of bumped into a kind of secret unlisted playlist on YouTube. I don't really know how I found it, but all these commercials can only be accessed through links, I think. It's not just on their YouTube channel. I don't really know why they hype up this year's commercials, but then simultaneously delete a bunch of old ones. It's like they want us to keep track of the overarching story, but then they take a lot of it away from us. What are your secrets apartments.com the oldest commercial i found was from seven years ago no oh, none of these places are right where's the baby <laughs> somebody's in need of a new infantile domicile try apartments.com it's amazing amazing that's our that's our middle name or dot Brad is helping this family escape this famous painting. I think Jeff is really born for this role because I feel like he slips into it so quickly. Like since 2017, he's just been on it. This could have been a commercial from yesterday. So I call this era of commercials the COVID lights era. If you remember back in COVID when everyone was lining like the tops of their rooms with LED lights, I know a bunch of you are still doing it. I'm calling you out. I'm just kidding. I actually really liked when we used to do that. My computer still has the LED lights on it, but I lost the like pluggy thing so now it just has a bunch of wires in the back and it just looks weird also these commercials were before covid so they kind of predicted the led lights trend what do you know apartments.com here's one where brad commands this giant rubik's cube of rooms yellow my mellow fellow got the home hunting blues why is it so difficult finding a rental it's a puzzle. It's a it's a puzzle. Another theory I have is that Jeff kind of just improvises a lot of his lines. Like I would never ever question my beloved Jeff, but that didn't feel super scripted. It's a puzzle. It's a it's a puzzle. I like to call this next era the company merger. Finding a great apartment that accepts pets is very difficult. Not anymore. That's why I joined Westside Rentals. Because Westside Rentals is now a part of apartments.com. That's why we joined Westside Rentals. What? 
E-gaff. Nobody told them. Westside Rentals and all their wonderful listings are now a part of Apartments.com for free. At this point in Apartments.com history, the company absorbs and buys out this other company called Westside Rentals, which is just like another rental company. Apartments.com, of course, announces this new acquisition, but they still use Brad. I just think it's so funny that they have this like corporate message and they kind of just throw Brad in there. Maybe it's to like ease the tension. Maybe there was a lot of bad blood between Westside Rentals and Apartments.com. I also really want to know what the budget is for all of these commercials. Like, what are they paying him? I feel like these commercials didn't really need Jeff in them. I just feel like the marketing budget has to be crazy in order for Jeff to appear in the company merger commercial. Then we have the bongos era. In this set of commercials, Brad is just kind of playing the bongos while giving cryptic renting advice that kind of relates to renters, but not really. Tips for people who live in places. I heard a very smart guy talk about the benefits uh, and the wisdom of not lying at all and strive to be pristinely honest. Not a bad idea, maybe. I mean, yeah, honesty is the best policy. I can't argue with him, but like, what does this have to do with selling apartments? The timing of this next one is actually crazy. Tips for people who live in places. Go out and, and see a real person and, uh, and talk to them. There's something in that people are infinitely mysterious, fascinating, and lovely. This is just months before COVID began creeping around in the news and roughly a year before it was considered a pandemic. They warned us. They said, go outside while you still can. COVID feels so recent and yet still so far away. Like it was this alternate timeline we were all a part of for a while. And it just feels really weird that Jeff was still doing these back then. I don't know. I like, there's just something so crazy to me about that. He has more loyalty than certain cast members do to certain television shows. I won't name names. Anyway, the bongos era is pretty good. In the morning, don't jump out of bed. If you can, lay there or lie there, whatever the, study your grammar too. That's another tip that occurs to me now. Whichever it is, stay in bed and simmer. Some of the advice he gives is not to get up right away in the morning and just lay in bed, which I relate to. Crossing the street, stop, look and listen, put your head on a swivel, uh, move with dispatch. My gosh, and have take the, take anything out of your ears. Listen and cross at the crosswalk. Don't wander about and stay off your devices when crossing the street. He's definitely making some of this up, right? I mean, fair enough. If I had Jeff Goldblum in the studio to do anything, I would literally say, do whatever. You're amazing. Apartments.com is not just concerned about finding you an apartment. They are also concerned about finding you a good roommate. Since they are a rental company, it only makes sense that they mention roommates and finding people. So Brad is back to give you advice, but this time it's like these really quick six second clips that kind of leave you wondering what you just heard. Hey, you know where my food doesn't belong? Your stomach. Mm, your cooking has a certain uh, uh, je ne sais yuck. I really like that in order to entice you into finding an apartment that potentially has other roommates, they remind you how shitty it is to live with people. Borrowing things without asking is called theft. You're trying to sell an apartment. Why are you telling me that my potential roommate's going to steal my stuff? Although, if you pay attention, they do make the message from the person you live with. So really, actually you're the bad guy. Apartments.com is calling you stinky. You're a stinky little thief and your roommates hate you. You have to move. It all makes sense now. If you think that Brad is limited to video-based commercials, you would be wrong. They listed some audio only ads for like Spotify and the radio, or maybe Jeff just got tired of filming that day. If Jeff ever wanted to get into ASMR, I think he has real potential. We're going to close our eyes and listen to the ad now. With the most rental listings anywhere, Apartments.com can help you find a pet-friendly place that really speaks to you. Or, in this case, your pets. So these next couple of commercials, I actually remember watching on TV. Basically, Brad is either in bed or on a stationary bike, and these things move around the apartment that he's touring. And it basically says how easy it is to rent an apartment from your bed or, you know, on the go. Take a tour of a place from the comfort of your phone. Backing up. Oh. 
I actually just genuinely like this commercial. It's whimsical, it's fun, it explains the product well. I wish I had something funny to say about this, but I don't know, it's just truly good. I like it. So these next couple of commercials really highlight like pet friendly listings on apartments.com by having Brad misinterpreting dogs for people. These ones just really tickle me. They're really fun, especially this one. Rough time finding a place for you and your roommate? Sis is just sitting away from the camera like, Oh my gosh, she's bald. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. I mean, can you imagine if this was filmed like a horror movie? Rough time finding a place for you and your roommate? Also, can we please look at this dog in this extremely clockable wig? This reminds me when I used to buy Amazon wigs because I wanted longer hair because my hair unfortunately doesn't grow past literally right here. And that's probably because I bleached the ever loving shit out of it. I mean, honestly, the dog does look a lot better than I do, but there are dogs with like realistic looking hair. I'm not sure why they just put a wig on her. Like these dogs fully exist. Of course, Brad was confused. They even gave her glasses. I'm actually mad now. I hate this one. Now I hate this commercial. Wait, oh shit, wait, <laughs> wait. You guys, I'm actually really stupid. I just realized I'm looking at the commercial right now. There's a sign literally right behind the lady that says no pets are allowed. This lady was, she's hiding the dog in a costume to sneak her into the apartment. She was in her Amazon wig. I'm so sorry, girly, that's on me. Brad then confuses a cat for a baby because it's in a stroller. That's valid, I would do the same thing. Cats have to pay rent these days. Sometimes it's like $30, $40 a cat, sometimes more. They don't have jobs. So we're getting pretty close to the end here now as we get close to the Super Bowl commercial that we talked about earlier. If you know anything about the US, Super Bowl commercials are like prime time. Companies usually spend millions producing these cinematic masterpieces to sell M&Ms and stuff. They usually will get like a really big name celebrity. And this especially pays off when it's someone who like is either rarely on TV anymore or maybe someone Someone who is just very well known but like not known to be in the commercial space for example Beyonce was in a commercial this year to release her new album this really signaled to me that the financial crisis really truly affects everyone because if Beyonce's doing commercials we're in trouble having a massive celebrity at their disposal was really not a problem for apartments.com because Jeff Goldblum really hits all of the marks nostalgia big celebrity everyone loves Jeff Goldblum but he's also kind of just been here he never really left so it's not like this big like oh my god Jeff Goldblum's in a commercial because he's always in these. I still think they really pulled it off though. They clearly already had the big budget for Jeff. So the splurge here was more for like the CGI and the aliens. This is the commercial that actually led me to make this video. So everyone all together, thank you Super Bowl. Before this commercial, there were a few others that kind of led us into this sci-fi space theme for apartments.com commercials. It's more confirmed later in these commercials that Brad's office really is in space. That or they're operating out of the abandoned Star Wars Disney hotel. They finally found a for it. So remember when I said earlier that Brad was the inventor of the apartment internet? Somewhere in the plot, he's given a promotion. Is a new title really necessary? Sir, after bestowing a gift of renting ease to millions, a bump is in order. Okay, let's see. Master of the rental sphere. Wow. Oh, is it too much? From here on forward, he is the master of the rental sphere. There is a bit of a continuity error though because they don't use it in the very next commercial. I think maybe they chickened out right before the Super Bowl. They were like, people are not gonna understand master of the rental sphere, but they will understand inventor of the apartment apart. I'm obviously not gonna cover every single one of the commercials that Jeff was a part of because I can truly be here all day and I think you kind of get it. I will finish off with one more commercial though. So this commercial actually really worried me. Apartments.com was actually not alone in the Super Bowl this year because another website also had its very own commercial, homes.com. <gasps> and yes, they are related. So, I hear some of you are concerned about the fact that I'm taking over the company from my great uncle. Well, rest assured, company's in great hands. So in this commercial, Dan Levy, you might know him from Schitt's Creek, is taking over the business from his great uncle, the business being homes.com. So the first time I watched this commercial, I thought that maybe his great uncle was Bill Bellflower. It kind of makes sense that that would be the case. I, in my mind, I thought they were just passing the baton to Dan, and then Bill Bellflower was gonna step down and retire. But if you think that Bill Bellflower would ever step down, how 
dare you? If you look closely, the picture that they're taking down is just an older Dan Levy. I kind of wish they used Eugene Levy's face. I mean, they look so similar. It would make a lot of sense if they just had Dan continue the commercials after Jeff Goldblum. I feel like they have very similar vibes. I don't know why, so I'm just not gonna explain it. Bill actually makes a little cameo in this commercial himself. He's actually part of the board that's hearing his pitch for being the new head of the company. I love it. Thank you. Homework. Very clever. Very Drink clever. Up every I have to say, I got so excited when I saw him. And he's also being supportive. Dan is not an adversary. This commercial also gives us that extra star power that we didn't really get in the Apartments.com commercial. Gathering up close detailed info on neighborhoods. <laughs> and hiring top experts to get you insider info on local schools. What y'all think? Smash or not? Nah. nah. You got Wheezy for this? Exciting, right? Now who wanna see what 100 Gs look like? I think this is where they actually put that money into. They got Haiti Gardner from SNL. They got Lil Wayne. And of course, Jeff, but I mean, Jeff's just always on retainer. Hey guys, editing Sabrina here. I just noticed while I was looking for clips for um, this video, it turns out Jeff Goldblum actually did a Super Bowl commercial with Apartments.com back in 2016 and Lil Wayne was in that one too. So I guess this is kind of like a homecoming sort of situation. Um, I just thought that was interesting. Okay, uh, signing out. Dan does like three more Super Bowl commercials that are probably just peppered in here and there, but Jeff isn't in those. Post Super Bowl, Apartments.com is still making commercials with Jeff. Their YouTube channel has ads that date back just to two months ago as of filming this video. In conclusion, I don't know what keeps Jeff around. Maybe he just really loves this project. Maybe they're just paying him a fat check. Honestly, if I was him, I wouldn't give it up either. It feels like they're just expanding this universe further and further. And I feel like he's having a really good time filming these. I am really Really curious what the future holds for these commercials and if there ever will be a baton pass if Jeff Goldblum ever does decide to retire. But me personally, I am not complaining about seeing him on my screen. Jeff, if you somehow ever see this, I absolutely adore you. And if you ever need someone to be an extra in your commercials, call me.